a 35% difference sounds a lot. But what do we use to determine atmospheric pressure in the first place? We use an instrument called a barometer. A barometer? Yes, it looks something like this. This is a mercury barometer. The height of the mercury in the tube determines the atmospheric pressure. But how? This feels like it is completely unrelated to air pressure. Like some type of wizardry. Recall in the previous lesson that P equals to H rho G. The height of the column of mercury multiplied by the density of mercury and gravitational constant would give us the pressure. The pressure due to the mercury in the tube is equivalent to the atmospheric pressure exerted on the surface of the mercury at the basin. The atmospheric pressure pushes the mercury back up the tube, creating an equilibrium and thus giving us the reading of the air pressure. Hang on, P equals H rho G. So atmospheric pressure can be obtained by looking at the height of the mercury level multiplied by the density of mercury multiplied by the gravitational constant. Yes. So from the barometer, we can say atmospheric pressure is 760 mmHg. 760 mm stands for the height of the mercury column in millimeters, whereas Hg is the chemical symbol that represents mercury. Thus, 760 mmHg simply means the pressure exerted by 760 millimeters of mercury.